。不知道过了几个白之后，等尼亚里回到附近的梅肯斯收物资，街上完全都没有僵尸，他们就很幸运。老样子，两人在聊到那个问题，等尼问里要留下来继续往前。李这次也很坚定地说：“我们应该走了。”青色旅馆的确是个很好防守的营地，但附近的强盗和越来越少的物资已经没有再留下来的必要。可你也很高兴你的决定。如果弟弟还想坚持留下来，那就放他一个人在那边。毕竟大家都是想要走的。等人这次外送目标依旧是药房，药房的物资非常多，只是抓到还是很多僵尸。每次去都没办法拿太多，但这次僵尸不见了，可能是个大好机会。等人抢到货车上到药店二楼，可尼上去的手头就坏了，所以只好把李给拉上来。但可尼在农场车厢上没有回复，所以李摔到地上了。这时，背后传来一声惨叫声。原来僵尸都躲在房子里面，而这位大吼大叫的人把附近所有僵尸都给引出来。李想要帮助那个人，但肯定说僵尸太多了，根本无法靠近。开枪后过去帮忙做一起陪葬。李也看到他被僵尸咬了。李本来想说开枪解决他的痛苦，但肯定说开枪的话，下一个目标就是我们。僵尸完全不知道两人位置，李觉肯定是对的。那人已经被咬了，没必要当自己的生命在被咬的人身上。所以两人马上进到药房。用大人吸引僵尸所争取到的时间，赶快拿物资。但很不幸的是，僵尸闯进来，两人互相配合，有惊无险的逃离药店，也成功跑起了旅馆。这时能发现，其实旅馆的墙上都是箭矢。这段期间也没少被强盗照顾，两人也去找管理物资的莉莉。莉莉说：“如果每次出去都有这个量，那过冬天是没有问题的。”可尼天又傻了，梅肯斯的冬天非常寒冷，没有充足的物资和衣物，每个人都冻死在这里。莉莉还是拿肯尼杀死他爸来说嘴，两人就这样又吵起来。在一旁的莉也觉得是时候该走了，物资迟早会没有，而且就已经快没了。这不是什么电脑游戏，物资还会固定重生。汽车旅馆是个安全营地没有错，但到时候杀死团队并不是强盗，而是寒冷和饥饿。再想想到高频率的骚扰，每个人都看到墙上密密麻麻的箭石，那东西可不是涂鸦，而是一根只能带走一条人命的武器。肯尼直接放大招，说莉莉竟不想走是因为他爸的身体。但现在他人没了，我们可以走了。意外的是，莉莉没有回嘴，总得有人需要考虑到一定安全、营地的坚固性，还有食物的来源和物资。莉莉虽然说现在这些都有，对，现在我没有错，但可能一个礼拜后就没有了。这也不是乱说的，姐在这边已经很久了，再加上盗贼分物资、抢物资，等到真的弹尽粮绝再走，那团队灭团的几率肯定会非常高。何不现在把剩下物资拿完后，上路寻找别的营地，新的地点、新的物资量，但是争吵再继续。What is happening? We got what we needed. It was just something that had to happen. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody, get out. She'll get over it. 现在多知道一件事，有内鬼在偷补给，所以弟弟希望李去打这件事。所以李又展开了调查。克莱蒙在画叶子画，就像是我们会把一批放到纸下面，然后画出来一样。当然，克莱蒙也不知道物资背后的线索。可能卡加有点小争吵，因为现在每个人都有配枪，但身为医生的卡加并不想要。卡加着枪的必要性，但说他的习惯。顺便问一下小偷的事情，肯定认为这里的人都很值得信任，就算是一直跟他吵弟弟，他也不会觉得是弟弟做的。大家都会为了团队的生存，自相残杀，作为小苏灭亡。负责战少的本尼们靠可疑人物，最近都没看到人，这是好事。卡莉最近想的很多，尤其是李的事。关于李是个被定罪的杀人犯这件事，卡莉觉得其他应该要知道，不是因为他们有必要知道，或者李是个坏人。刚好相反，李是个非常好的人。但现在团队气氛很紧张，卡莉怕弟弟哪天发疯说这件事，那每个人对你的观感肯定会有变化。倒不如现在诚实的向大家说。因为李是个好人，所以才会说出来，这样大家会更相信李。团队是民主制，没有所谓老大或领导，但大家一把李默认为团队的领导。如果这件事突然跑出来，那团队肯定会多少有所动摇，还不如你诚实告诉大家。李觉得非常有道理，也答应卡莉会跟大家讲。而李第一个告诉的对象就是克莱蒙。
The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can、uh, go on back to your things. 再来这个尼亚卡加。It's serious. Oh no! What'd the she devil do to you? Shut up, man. I was、uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching kids, was it? Oh man, come on, man! What? I gotta ask. No, I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm, must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I held Lily back, and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. 再来是本。Shirley, is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm a, I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? Why would I joke about that? I don't know. Um, wow. You're a part of this group, and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't. I mean, I know what you meant. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I. Ben, relax. Okay. So you need to ask Didi to search for any evidence of theft. Didi didn't have any evidence, but he believed that the evidence was there. Because every time the evidence was different, the evidence was completely different. And Didi also found that the glass was broken. Why is this evidence? Because Didi and his team will never throw away anything. If the glass is broken, the evidence will be destroyed. 真的修不好才会拆走剩下有用的东西，其余丢掉。但这只手电筒却无缘固在这种里面，说明很有可能有人被地理做坏事时不能弄坏，为了销毁证据才丢掉。所以李进入这个线索，开始找到内鬼。但一出门就看到达克利在门口，他刚推断完整的对话，也想要帮忙。李起初是拒绝的，但在达克的拜托下就答应，前提是不能告诉任何人。所以李就让达克试看看有没有任何可疑的东西。李也拿手电筒来问其他人。李问本是不是他打破手电筒的？本说不是。李说，如果是你的话，你不会任何麻烦，只想知道而已。本就开始很紧张，问李干嘛眼睛闭供？李招手其他人，可你完全不知道手电筒的事，反而是在心疼数量已经不多了。一旁的卡嘉记得，是毕竟那附近有碎玻璃，他本来要清掉，因为还是受伤，可是他忘了。接着是克莱蒙。You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did a duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. 之后再去二楼找卡利，所以已经跟大家讲这件事，顺便偷一下手电筒，但卡利也不知道。剩下底的线索只有制冰机和碎玻璃，这些碎玻璃刚好够大，能刚好让李来配对手电筒，也很刚好是符合的，所以很有可能是在旅馆里打破的。旁边的墙上有个大大的叉，应该是某人在这边做记号。李也发现这是用粉笔画的，而这里有粉笔的只有克莱蒙，所以李就去找克莱蒙
。问他最近是不是丢失粉红色的粉笔，的确是不见了。克莱蒙以为李赛借粉笔，问他要不要蓝色的。而达克刚刚也发现到粉红色粉笔的痕迹。Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues. And... Yeah, Duck. I got it. Good job. 这是拖动才会有的痕迹，所以你想到外面看看，你的直觉很灵敏，在外面的通风口找一袋东西，而这一袋刚好就是不见的物资。立马上回找弟弟。With this, it's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall, and there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck! Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us. Who the fuck is that? Yo, got our people out there. Out we ain't fucking around. What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you? Stall them. What? Just keep them talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life. Shit! Enough of this bullshit, Drew. Stop putting your boot to these doors. Yeah. Hold it, asshole. Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone. Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta. That's why. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. And shut up, all... Christ! Oh shit! <laughs> 好在利达狙击枪躲在旁边，释放了被绑的成员。而这声枪响，夜来出现中的僵尸，现在就三方交战。里面强盗的门边，所以被你的团队僵尸包在中间，强盗很快就全灭。但剩下的就应付僵尸，门口的路障都已经被推开，从树林来的僵尸源源不绝。这下真的只剩下开露营车逃跑这个选项。卡加达克被僵尸攻击，但好在你马上出手拯救两人。可能露营车已经修好，顺利发动，众人就像成功逃离七二旅馆。但一安全下来，莉莉就开始在车上猎物。Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you. Then back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're just pointing fingers. Why her? This seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we Whoa, know. Whoa! My family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran. You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should、uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mis. Lily, stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I. Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right. Well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out.
Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just kick you out. We should hear what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck walker! You okay over there? Yeah, yeah. Son of a ben, bitch. Ben, you have no other options Leave here. him alone. You can tell me it was Carly, and then everything will be right as rain. There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Ha, huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just... You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. He's broken, Lily. I can see that. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. This is about trust, and I've never trusted you. I did it. What? Yeah, it was me. That get you to lay off the kid? I think you're capable of being a real piece of shit, but I know it wasn't you. Not with her in your life. There! I got him! Let's just get back in the That's not RV. happening! You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you, but you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem?